All right, what up, what up? This is Nate back again, PGA Tour. Um, third and fourth round for Chester. He is currently struggling right now, so we're going to see how he fares in the third and fourth round. I think we're currently nine back. So Chester's got to get it in gear if his hopes of uh, becoming a professional. Partnership with the United States Golf Association. So proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Yeah, we're currently nine strokes back. We're going to pick it up on hole number six. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should Chester's been grinding in between rounds two and three. He's put in some practice, got his skills up a little bit. Let's we'll see if it translates onto the course. He's worked on his driving and his approach shots and his putting. He's feeling pretty good today. Thinks he can make something happen. All right, he's starting off kind of maybe late. Yep. The left side. We'll catch the fairway. Big fairways here at Bandon Dunes. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm. Hit fairways. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. 300 yard drop. 72 yards to the hole. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. We we'll have to take a lot off this one. I don't think we got enough uh, pitch shot. Yeah, can we, can we do that? It's probably gonna come up short here. He's got to get all of it. Front edge of the green to be okay. Oh, that's way short. Come on, get up there. That's a bad shot. Chester's in between clubs right there. Looks like he needs to put some more work into the short game. All right, we got to get it up and down for par. It's a good looking shot. Tap in par. Go in! Oh! Lovely pitch shot. Just nip that ball right. off the turf. Tidy up for par, Chester. Flew through the air beautifully. Set down fairly quick as well. Good shot. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll hold steady at plus three. Got to get something going here. The eighth hole here at Bandon takes us back toward the ocean. It's par four, four 385, 385 yards. yards. You got to miss all them bunkers. If you can successfully navigate or vomit over those two fairway bunkers. Should be able to get up close to the green here. Not much more than 50 yards or so for your approach. Should give us a decent shot into the green. Oh, don't go in the bunker. Don't go in the bunker. Oh, he's left in the bunker. And that ball going to roll out a little too much as the momentum carries it all the way into the bunker. All right, Chester, we need a good shot here, bud. Sit down. Sit down. Through the green. He's struggling with the short game right now. that one. Got it out, but it is now in the rough. Struggling with the short game. Rolled out a little bit farther than he'd like. Well, Got to make this and come back for par. Be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Need this one. Oh, Chester is struggling. To the right and trickle away. Not the right read there. Puts it two over for the day. Here at number eight. Gonna move him back. Not looking good. I think one of his challenges was to make the top 80. Right now, it's 
Not looking good. Nothing short about our closing hole here on this front side. The par 5 ninth topping out at 585 yards. the bunkers. The longest hole on the course. That said, birdie is certain not out of the equation. That is, if you can avoid the pot bunkers in the landing area off the tee. Oh, he sliced it a little bit. Catch pace, catch pace, get him kick. Oh, he's hit somebody. Oh, no. Hope they got insurance. From the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. He's just going to hack it out. Gotta play the sensible shot sometimes. Just give him really a good job about 130 right into the hole. That ball down the fairway. That came out pretty clean, Frank. Yeah, clean as a whistle. And now actually in great shape in this par five. Gotta take advantage of this. Looks like that's a pretty good one. If it gets up, get up! Man, he's coming up short again. He's struggling. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All of the above, maybe. That's a little bit of a hit. It's like he's going to have to need some more practice. Gotta make this and come back for par. The boy going bogey bogey. 13 feet away. Chester is not feeling it today, ladies and gents. Oh, okay, snuck that one in. As that one is well, bogey, bogey. And he'll fall back now to five over par. Now down to we 60th. Get back nine here at Bandon Dunes with a par four measuring out at the 380 yards. It's yet another hole where that blue ocean catches your eye in the distance beyond. This hole, fairly straightforward, but big hitters should take note of that hot bunker. That All right, sits should be able to birdie this one. Yards short of the green. Keeps leaking his drives today. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Get on down there. He really needs a birdie here. Breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. Really needs the birdie here. So we're going to have a good chance at it. Right around six feet here. Chester's Over. completely out of the running to win, so he's just got to make up some strokes here. Make a good showing for himself. All righty, he made his first birdie. Gets him back to four over par. Ten strokes back. The 11th here at Bandon Dunes at 452 yards apart for The putt bunker left of the fairway is the main concern on the tee shot. From there, an uphill second takes you to a green that slopes away there you go. And back toward the ocean beyond. Good drive. Good drive down the left side of the field. Stop. Stop. There you go. 327. This is certainly a very good line to have at it. From the left side of this fairway, he'll look over his second. Needs him a good shot here. Looks decent. Leaves another birdie opportunity. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. 
Let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Can he go back to back to bring his to somewhat save his round? A few opportunities slipped through the cracks on the front side, so we'd love to take advantage here. Missed it low. And ran it past. All right, it's first par. We gotta make it. Chester is absolutely struggling with the flat stick. The putts on line come up short. Absolutely pitiful showing for him. That's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Shot 75. So puts him at 53rd. Frank, this was supposed to be 11 shots out of the lead. Not looking good for Chester. Looks like he may have made the wrong choice at quitting farming. Yeah, they went in reverse weight. Maybe his fourth round will be a little bit better. Try to save it a little bit. Last round. Twelve strokes back. EA Sports is proud to present continuing coverage of the world of golf today live coverage comes your way of the final round it is the great challenge that all these golfers face trying to string four solid rounds together after the third round chester hit the bar he had a little bit too much to drink he said he's just gonna go out and let it all hang out on the last round he said he has nothing to lose at six under par Hopefully, uh, not out helped him out a little bit because Chester did not have it in the last round. He may need a new swing. It's like a pretty good opening drive for him. It's going to be through the green. He's trying to come back. Nope. All right, let's get it up now, Chester. It's all right. Rolling off the fairway and into the heavy stuff. Pretty shaggy lie here as he'll try to muster up something for his second. All right, he's got a birdie chance. Oh, that was a big tee shot. Little He's tipping his hat. He has no hat. What are you doing, Chester? Great skills and perhaps a buddy. All right, he made one finally. After the triple bogey on 11, comes back with a birdie on 14. To five over. 11 strokes back now. Four holes to go as we come to the par three 15th measuring at 200. This is a beast of a par three, 200. The short right I'll play 171 today. On the golf course, putting one in the center of this plateau green is not a bad play here. Looks like a decent one. Can he go back to back? Oh yeah, nice shot there, right of the hole. And how about that for his birdie? Another good birdie chance. He said, "Y'all down, Chester." Oh, and he misses again. Still made par though. Okay, Chester will have to spend some time on the putting green if he's wanting to make a, a run at a professional tour card. Right now, he couldn't even make it in a local qualifier. He is absolutely embarrassing himself in the amateur championship. The par four, sixteen. Some golfers play for the upper fairway, which gives you a bit of an angle to the green. Others, they stay down low, which is maybe a little safer. 
A third option is just to try and carry it over everything, but beware the pot bunkers and the gorse. Good looking drive. If you choose option C. Roll it out. About pin high. That is into the fairway. He's driving it good today, but everything else, uh, not so good. A touch more accuracy could have had him on in one. Instead, now his second from the side of the green. Things gonna opt for the flop shot here. Oh, he's getting cute with it. Another birdie chance. Trester has struggled to read these greens all week. It looked like he missed again. He's just letting opportunities get by him. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Still 11 strokes back inside top 50. Par 4, 405. You'll need to thread the needle here with bunkers on either side. Thick rough on the left and a canyon to the right. But a safe drive in the fairway can yield a pretty good look at your second. He's hitting driver well this week. Gonna work this up that left-hand side. Just everything else is falling apart on him. Oh, he gets a little lucky there and even bounces back into the fairway. So after the He's in between clubs again. Is second to the par four. Gonna run out a little bit on him. Decent shot. Starting to get the feel. He's missed everything except for the one birdie put today. Did he run it in? And he left it short again. Just cannot get the feel for the greens. He said, you know what? Hold my beer. Watch this. I'm going to ram it in. No problems there. That's par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Still 11 back. Top 50. Onto the home hole to wrap Last hole for the tournament. Get here. Isn't it nice to His hopes and dreams the of winning the U.S. Amateur have been out the door for a couple days. Simply avoid the bunkers off the he just needs a good show in here. Good finish strong. To reach this green in two. Would love to finish with an eagle here. Another good drive. Stays out of the bunker. And unfortunate, just rode out into the bunker. A well placed bunker. It'll collect plenty of shots just like that one, as this indeed. He said yellow. He's going for it. What's he got to lose? Fairway wood out of the bunker. Oh, he's hit a great shot up. Oh, yep. On and two for Eagle. Wouldn't this be something to cap the round? A long look at a closing eagle. For eagle. To finish up his round. Looking good. Oh. Yep, not bad. Had to he finishes with a birdie. That, one, but got it there. that will not leave a sour taste in his mouth. He has finished up strong. 
with a birdie. Okay, it's a nice finish, a birdie at 18. And that will make this a final round, 71. Shot one under par in this final round. That moved him up to 30th. Frank, a win would have been nice, but this is all we're looking for, right? This is his first this ever is major this tournament. That's right, the focus is normally on the people that... Chester's not satisfied. He's hungry. You know, you had to finish in the top 40. You had to get the job done. Uh oh, did we go to Q school? Mission accomplished. I think Chester has made it into Q school. all of us at EA Sports. Let's see what's going to happen. Chester, maybe by miracle, made Q school. Entry requirements. Win any amateur championship. You're not eligible for the Masters and you do not meet the requirements for the Invitational. Boo. Boo. We didn't make the Masters. And then we didn't meet the U.S. Open. One week left. Chester did make the Corn Ferry Tour. By some luck, he did. So we will check back in with him next week as he grinds out and tries to make a name for himself on the Corn Fairy Tour. Catch y'all later.